Only on Offbeat America does a guy take his childhood fantasies and turn his house into a giant toy box. Go to to go. And they're rulers of this roost. This used to be an entry coat closet. Wait till you see what all one homeowner did to accommodate a dozen feathered roommates. And later, find out how these whirly wonders even ignited a whirlwind romance. Everything I do is for her. <laughs> it's all next on Offbeat America. Molly Gleason doesn't get offended if you call her bird brain. In fact, she not only has birds on the brain, she has them all over her house in Lafayette, California. He's my old man. She may be a realtor by day, but Molly Gleason is a bird lover at heart. This extraordinary woman took the passion she had for birds and transformed a four-bedroom Northern California bungalow into a real live birdhouse. And as you'll soon see, these feathered roommates are way more than just birds to Molly. This used to be an entry coat closet, and now it is one of many of the little spaces that we've created around the home for the birds to hang out in. And this is Fanny. Molly shares her 2,000 square foot home with 12 marvelous exotic free-flying birds. This is like the first space that lets you know when you come into my home that you're somewhere special. Somewhere special is an understatement. One could honestly say that Molly's house really is for the birds. First thing is I always think about what they would like and then I try to tailor it as much as I can to human beings. The whole house is for the birds. Every room in the house has been tailored and preened for maximum bird comfort. So next I want to show you my dining room table. And um, I've created a series of stations where the birds can sit down and you know, fly in, sit, um, have food, hang out. Molly's even brought in a real tree trunk for her feathered roommates. I put this tree trunk up here and I put a nest box behind it. I cut the main hole, now they're shaping it. They use this as sort of a little, it's like a little clubhouse. Josephine Bonaparte Gleason, an African silver-cheeked hornbill, loves the clubhouse and has taken to making it her own. She spends hours in here. She's banging around and, okay, Josephine, come here, come here. This is a fabulous way for them to have enrichment and to have projects. Like you give a kid crayons and it keeps them busy and it keeps them really happy. As one of the muses in this birdhouse design, Josephine is very dear to Molly. She is almost human in her interaction with me. And she's very trusting and she's emotional. In almost every room, Molly pays homage to the bird's plumage. The family room, for example, pays tribute to Toucan Bianca's chest feathers. Everything is really a celebration of all of their colors so that it's for them and they feel happy being here. You can see the yellow that's everywhere is her yellow. It's the brightest yellow I could find. One may ask, how did a young woman become so gaga, or should we say caw caw, over birds? I feel a deep spiritual love connection with them. They're, they're my children and I, um, commit to them for life. You know, when I get a bird, I plan to keep it forever. Molly's bird nanny, Marilyn Ellis, takes care of the birds when Molly is away on business. I love coming here and taking care of her birds. And uh, it's, it's a pretty amazing experience. Molly has a gift that I've never seen with anyone else around birds. I live with the birds like this because it uh, feels like life to me. They're an inspiration to me and I love them so much. And the inspiration doesn't stop with the inside. Molly's built a 3,000 square foot aviary in the backyard that connects to the home. This is the patio, the backyard for the property. Um, so I just enclosed the whole thing and made a huge aviary for them to fly around in so they can go in and out. So if, uh, if they want to be outside, they can be out here. And if they want to go inside, they just fly inside. For Molly and her flock, the house is a perfect place for these birds of a feather to retreat. I wanted to have a place where I could, my birds could live and I could live with them instead of what, of having cages and having them live with me. 
I never dreamt that it would be this incredible.